Hi, Phil Bagura here, and today we're diving into the nitty-gritty of business resilience, a crucial skill set for navigating the choppy waters of today's ever-changing economic climate. So let's kick things off by defining resilience in the world of business. Stage one, defining that resilience. Resilience isn't just about bouncing back from setbacks. It's about thriving in the face of adversity. It's the ability to adapt, innovate, and stay afloat amidst turbulent times. Resilience in business is the ability to withstand and recover from setbacks, disruptions, and unexpected changes while maintaining core functions and objectives. It's not just about surviving, but also about thriving despite the adversity. Stage two is understanding industry dynamics. Now, you might be wondering why some industries seem to weather storms better than others. The answer lies in various factors, including market dy dynamics, regulatory environments, and techno uh, technological advancements. Industries that embrace innovation and agility tend to fare better. Stage three, unveiling intra industry disparities. Even within the same industry, we often see disparities in resilience between or amongst businesses. This can be attributed to factors such as leadership capabilities, financial health, operational efficiency, and adaptability to change. Those with robust strategies and a forward-thinking mindset tend to emerge stronger. So let's look at power, perspective, and perseverance as being the core uh, things of resilience for business leaders. Let's start with power. As leaders, it's crucial to harness our own internal power to drive positive change and inspire our teams. Perspective. Adopting a forward-thinking perspective allows us to anticipate challenges and seize opportunities, allowing ourselves permission to schedule think time into our weekly activities is where we can really gain perspective and insights into where our business is currently at and where it is heading in this fast-paced and ever-changing game of business. And then finally, perseverance. Persistence is key. Every setback is a chance to learn and grow stronger. Perseverance and resilience go hand in hand and cannot be achieved without each other. Persevering provides the strength required to come up with new ideas, direction and strategies to keep momentum happening, even when all the chips appear to be down. Stage four is about embracing the new normal. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, the new normal in business. This isn't your grandma's business landscape. We're talking about digital transformation, customer-centric strategies and agile methodologies. It's time to adapt or get left behind. Working with a small business, we identified a number of small pivots that they could make in their business that took advantage of some new opportunities that opened up when the impact of the pandemic first became apparent. That business has gone on to grow and become even stronger and stronger. Stage five is about strategic adaptation. Flexibility and adaptability is the name of the game. We need to constantly reassess our strategies, pivot when ne necessary, and stay agile in the face of uncertainty. Remember, it's not about the size of the ship, but the motion of the ocean we are sailing in. It is exactly the same thing in the game of business. One of the key reasons my clients have been able to 
weather the storm in these turbulent times has been their commitment to creating a new 90-day plan every quarter. This is their opportunity to take a good hard look at their business with what has worked well, not worked so well over the past 90 days, and then to go on and create a new plan for the next 90 days. Here they create three or four key goals that will take the business forward and identify and document specific actions that will ensure the achievement of that goal. Stage six is about cultivating resilient teams. Last but not least, let's talk about building resilient teams. Your people are your greatest asset. Invest in their development, foster a culture of collaboration, and watch your business soar to new heights. And it all starts with positive communication. When you communicate positively with your team, they will embrace your passion and enthusiasm. Embrace your mindset with everything that will be uh, that everything will be okay. All of which these things flow through their resolve to do a great job in the roles within the business. So there you have it: the six stages of building business resilience in today's ever-changing economic climate. Remember, with the right mindset and strategies in place. There's no storm that we can't weather. So uh, if you'd like to know more on how you can achieve sustainable growth, achieve more in less time, and or develop great teams, please schedule a complimentary call with me on the calendar link below to establish how we might be able to work together. So until next time, stay resilient, stay passionate, and stay inspired.